What is going on everybody? I'm Fetty here and today I'm going to show you a little a route and a, a kind of a concept that works really well against certain coverages. I'm going to show you in one formation that I like to use and it's out of the spread formation out of the Buffalo Bills playbook and it doesn't have to be this formation. It can be any formation. Um, like a doubles, you kind of want to have two receiver, like you want to have two receivers on each side, or two receivers and a receiver and a tight end. And what it is, the play I'll show you is halfback option, and we'll come out and why it's so good. And we'll just come out in the cover four. And why this play is so good is because it has a stock ten yard out route, a stock ten yard in route, and you can't get those like all the time you can obviously do it when you're 10 yards like first and 10 or second and 10 or whatever what have you but you can't get them stock in a lot of plays and this one has it so I really like this play and the reason why is because anybody who likes to run cover four or cover three anything where the corner outside corners who where you're running the out route is in a deep blue this out route kills them there's no real um, flat route from the linebacker that will cover it and if they're and if they do cover it you have a, an underneath route underneath to um, to complement it and that's why this play is so good because the deep end route gets in a nice tender spot at that 40 yard line where the linebackers don't drop that far back and the safeties drop too far back um, so it's a really nice little play um, halfback option out of the Buffalo Bills playback I'm actually going to be making a mini scheme out of this uh, formation in the uh, next coming days because this formation I've, I've really found in love with there's lots of nice little plays in it but though for the do with this play I like to run a few different setups but basically my first read is always either the drag coming across or uh, the out route because if I read that the corner too far I'm gonna automatically hit the out route it's gonna be open every time um, so I like to use max protect put Freeman blocking and then I will drag Hardy and I'll fade Gabriel that's my first setup, um, and as you can see here, if the flat or the out route, if it's cover two, I'll hit the drag, um, or I'll hit the deep in. But any other coverage, I'm looking at the out route, and you see, you see here we're in cover four. Um, just gonna base align, put cloud flats out there, base align again because he's there. We go. As you can see here, okay, so I'm dropping back. Oh, I see him dropping too far back. Hit the out route. And you're going to have that all day. They're going to have to adjust to that. And if they don't, you're going to keep hitting with that because you have to make the the defense adjust to you. You don't adjust to the defense in this in this this um, with this play because they can't sit in a cover four, a cover three, or even man and try to stop this because it's just going to be too hard. So they have to go to a cover two. That's the only way this gets stopped. And if they do go to a cover two, I'll just show you here. Do it like everybody else does, like that. If you see, oh, it's locked up, hit the drag underneath, make someone miss. As you can see there, the drag gets open because of the out routes pulling him back. Again, we'll show you another, the in route that's super good against this as well. Again, that's my first setup. I'll show you some other setups that I like to run too, but again, here, say they lock down the drag, hit the in route. As you see, there's so many options you can do with this with this play there's three routes that are open and you got the fade pulling any kind of deep zones away so I, I mean like I said this play is really tough to stop um, they're gonna have to respect that out route always whenever they don't run cover two and if they do run cover two they're gonna have to lock down the drag and lock down the in route and then you also when I bring you guys this mini scheme if you guys want to use it there's other plays you can use to complement this play um, so we'll just show you up to the wide side of the field running that deep out rope it's the same same thing we'll just run a uh, cover four again cover four and cover three are going to be the same so I'm not going to go through both but um, and you can keep the Freeman on that halfback option row I just block them just because it is a spread formation I, I kind of want that more protection as you can see again as soon as he cuts out routes wide open against the cover four and even against the cover four you can hit that in route too it doesn't it doesn't uh, doesn't mean it's not going to be open. So, show you again. Underneath coverage. And then, try to hit the end route here. So, you're just waiting, waiting, waiting. Possession catch, just to get him down in front of the safeties. You could even wait a little bit longer until it gets kind of in the middle where that X is in the middle of the field. Um, that's kind of where it's going to be more open. 
in that area, but I threw it there, and as you can see, no problems there. And then against the cover two, if they want to run a cover two on you, just because that's what they're going to have to do, they don't really have a choice, um, or else they're going to keep keep getting beat by that out route. Let's see if they run cover two. Just wait on it. Hit the drag. You can see you can turn it upfield for monster gains. So, and then also, like I said, you can hit the in route. There's so many little things you can do with this um, with this play. And then another setup I like to do. I will just throw it in the middle. Doesn't matter, but um, is I like to hitch Gabriel, and then I'll streak Hardy or fade him. Doesn't really matter. And then I'll block Freeman. And what I like to do. This is when I try to like scheme open the the um, the in route. What I like to do is I like to s hit here and then I'll playmaker him in and then that what that does is kind of creates a little area where the user has to pick and choose. He has to either pick the in route or he has to pick the, the playmaker if he's using a linebacker and what he's going to end up having to do is kind of play a cat and mouse game where okay what do I want to cover here? Do I want to cover the playmaker? Do I want to cover the out route? Do I want to cover the in route? Um, so it just puts again a lot of stress on the user. Here we'll show you in a cover two doing that same setup and same thing. Max protect, as you can see. Oh, not open. Here this time we hit the playmaker. If they don't respect the playmaker, so as you can see, this play has so many options that you can do. Hit them with the out route if they're spamming cover four or cover three. Then if they have, then they're obviously gonna have to switch to cover two. Then you can do other. Like I said, you can hitch and playmaker. You can hit the drag if they run cover two. You can hit the hit the deep in route. So definitely utilize this play. Like I said, it doesn't have to be in the spread. I just like this play because it gives you all those routes stock. Um, you can do it in a gun double. Say if Hardy moves in to to uh, a tight end, like say he's a tight end instead, you could still have that drag and that deep out route and an in route. Um, so you can make this play. I just like this play because it comes every everything comes in stock. So hope you guys do enjoy this play. Um, definitely utilize it if you do find a play similar like this, or if you are using the Buffalo Bills playbook and didn't know about this. So yeah, that's gonna conclude this video, guys. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh,